everybody. Today's video is going to be about my three preferred two-point slings. I prefer two-point slings. I know that there are single points out there. There are three points that are kind of going the way of the dodo, but I prefer a two-point. It's more secure for me. That's what I just like. That's what I've always had. Eventually, we'll do a video with Phil on you know some of the benefits between two-point, single-point, three-point, and all that stuff. But today, I'm going to show you my top three favorite slings, um, starting with this one. And a little bit of background on how I set my sling up. I prefer to run the back end of it through the sling slot in the stock, and then the front will be attached with some sort of QD or snap. Uh, I usually run my sling at the furthest front end of the gun and as far rear as I can get. It's just a little bit more sturdy for me that way. All these slings are going to have some of the same features. They're going to have sliders on them. They will be two point like I said and they will be a certain thickness. I don't like a thin um, sling. I feel that it cuts into me and uh, it's just uncomfortable if you're wearing it for a long time. So. The one I'm wearing right now is the Viking Tactics two-point padded sling. I put this sling on this particular rifle because this is one of my heavier rifles and the padding on the back is just kind of nice. Uh, I don't think it's a real necessity if you're picking out a sling, but it is comfortable. As you can see, the padding runs right along my back and uh, it's just comfortable with a heavier rifle. This is the rifle completely cinched up tight. This rifle has a metal slider on it with a piece of nylon string attached so I can go ahead and loosen it and then if I need to tighten it, it has a little bit of extra um, strap here and I can go ahead and cinch it down if I need to get real tight on my rifle or if I need to go hands free, draw my sidearm, something like that. So this is the Viking Tactics two point sling in OD Green. Okay, next up is the Magpul MS-1. Magpul has a pretty extensive line of slings, and they're probably the more popular slings on the market. Magpul does everything well. I particularly like this one. Uh, the strap is nice and wide. It's a uh, softer material, it feels like. It's like a softer nylon. Uh, this particular sling ha just has a polymer or plastic slider on it. It doesn't have a pull tab uh, or anything like that. It just has texture on the outside of the slider for you to grab onto so you can loosen it in case you need to reload or charge the gun and then you can just push it forward to tighten it if you need to go hands free or sling the gun it's a great sling uh, very high quality like I said the nylon on it is just a little softer feels good Magpul does everything great this is the Magpul MS1 two-point sling and last is the Blue Force Gear Vickers two-point sling, designed by Larry Vickers. And if you don't know who Larry Vickers is, I encourage you to get out from underneath your rock and uh, go read a book, because he's kind of a big deal in the gun industry. But this is the Vickers two-point sling that Blue Force Gear makes. Really great sling, very rugged sling, uh, nice and wide strap. Um, this is kind of a hybrid slider on here between the Vickers and the Magpul. It is a plastic or polymer slider, but it also has a pull tab like the VTAC sling had. So I can go ahead and loosen it with the tab, do my reloads, or I can tighten it with the tab so I can go hands free. Great sling, very rugged. I've had this one for a long time. Um, the Blue Force Gear Vickers two point sling. All right, guys, so these are my preferred top three two-point slings. Slings are very important, I think, uh, if you're going to have a home defense rifle or, you know, that, that Minuteman rifle, I think a sling is absolutely crucial. And uh, I encourage you to get out there, you know, look at different slings, watch videos on slings. Um, if you could, on this video, leave a comment below. Tell me what you're using. Tell me what you like to use and why. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Guys, we'll see you on the next video.